sad. It's really sad, but I expected it. James Jones has always been jealous of Kyrie Irving because Kyrie was always put right next to LeBron on the team, him and Kevin Love. But they never really hung out like that. After Once the game's over, you know, LeBron was back being your BFF. He didn't want that position. <laughs> but he, he felt like, James Jones felt like, well, you should want to get close to me because I'm close to LeBron because that's what everybody else normally did. They normally was cool with James Jones because he was cool with LeBron. And once Kyrie wasn't part of the party, you know, he spoke directly to LeBron. He really didn't communicate with James Jones or a lot of people at that point. You know, he talked to him when he had something to say. He was, that was, oh, wow, it's not the norm for James Jones. But he's done that before. He's done that plenty of times before. It never was a problem. He did it the year y'all won the championship to get into his mental zone. No, never a problem. You and him spoke on the court plenty of times and on the sideline plenty of times. When you was on the court and you was playing with him, he was the one trying to get you a shot, get you open. He wanted everybody to score that game. But see, all of these things get lost when you have an agenda to follow. Now you want to show your loyalty to LeBron by making statements about Kyrie Irving and putting him in a negative light. Something as moot as what you said. So I, I don't, I'm not surprised it came from James Jones. That's what I'm telling you. James Jones is that kind of slippery dude in which he his relationship with LeBron means more to him than anything. So he wants to do something to show his solidarity, even though it doesn't even pertain to him. So anybody who thought that he was going to go to the Phoenix Suns, Kyrie was going over there. That, that's not going to happen. So what he was basically doing was sealing the deal on that even taking place by opening his mouth. What does he look like going over there playing with the sun? So anything with Devin Booker, all that stuff, that's dead. And I'm quite sure they're going to have a talk with him about mentioning and putting the team name in that light. So, I'll look at it as this. I've said, wow. If James Jones can be this petty and signal out all these other infractions about everybody else, what about him when he rode LeBron's coattail for seven years? sitting on the bench. What team would have picked up James Jones? He had been out of the league probably three, four years ago. Nobody was looking for James Jones. I mean, nobody. He was a, a player that could basically hit a shot if he's wide open, which don't normally come in his league. He's not somebody who could put the ball on the floor and make plays for himself. Is he just became an unmotivated, uninterested player who seems like his interest was elsewhere. Didn't really seem like he was in the game when he was in there. He get garbage points. When you're talking about a prime time player in Kyrie Irving, you know, and for somebody of his stature, just because he's got a GM spot now, it just makes him look bad. So on that note, I'm out.